are driving next to this, we call it a drainage line at Juma in South Africa, but in East Africa it's called a lugger. It's basically an eroded area where a streamlet is, uh, well, is located. But because of the deep alluvial nature of this particular portion of the of the uh, of the Masai Mara, the Mara Triangle, you can see that it's very incised, deeply incised into the plains. And inside here, an entire pride of lion was swallowed this morning after they inhaled a zebra from all likes of things at the beginning of uh, at the beginning of the morning safari. That was at. Ooh, it's six o'clock this morning or half past five or something this morning. But just look at what we've got in front of us over here. We've got a surprise. We've got an African elephant for you. And in just such a lovely setting. There we go. I'll try and get my bald head out of the shot so that <laughs> I don't blind you. Just have a look at that. Isn't that superb? That is a bull elephant, not as large as they get at Juma. I find that the Kruger bulls in the Kruger National Park are much larger than the bull elephant that we find out here in, uh, in the Mara Triangle. With the exception of a few big tusked bulls, I find the bodies and the tusks on average pretty much bigger than they are in, in, uh, in South Africa. All right, we're in there. Let's see if we can go away. He has decided, to, oh, there we go, he's turned his head so we can see that gleam of ivory coming through there. Isn't that just wonderful? Old male, you can see the tips of his ears curled over. Those are just big radiators. So what they do is they pump all their blood in their body through those ears and they flap their ears to cool, them, cool the blood down and their blood then re-enters the body cooler and that helps them stay out on these grassy plains for much longer periods of time. Enormous bull elephant for this area. Not being particularly perturbed by us. You can see quite often these old bull elephants are escorted by what is affectionately called an Ascari. But similar to those impala that we were with a little bit earlier, the older bull elephants enjoy the company of the, of the younger bulls and enjoy their protection. Their senses are a little bit more alert. And the younger bulls benefit from the company as well, but also from the older bulls' knowledge and experience. They know what to eat and when to eat it. They know where to go when there's danger, what mountain passes to use, where to go when it's dry, where to go when it's wet, and all number of things in between as well. He's got an aeroplane flying over us. It's one of the ways that tourists get into these, into these parks. The drive from Nairobi out here is roughly five hours. The flight is roughly 45 minutes and, uh, and a lovely way to get into this part of the world. That youngster there, he's probably just left his herd. He looks to be around about 16 to about 20 years old. Uh, Kirsty, could you please repeat George's question? I only got half of it. George, you've just asked, are there any theories as to why the bull elephant in the Kruger are bigger than they are out here in the Mara Triangle? George, um, not that I've read, but I would imagine it's got a lot to do with the variety in their diets. Out here, elephant can eat and do eat grass for the majority of the year. In the Kruger National Park, the elephants are forced to eat more woody species of plants um, for roughly half the year because we have a a, a winter and a summer there and I think that that change in diet has forced a change in the elephant's physiology. They need to be bigger and they need to be stronger so that they can reach up into the taller trees also with the strength to push down the bigger trees and I think that that has just led to a, a sort of 
natural selection on a small scale that has just given us bigger bodied elephant and bigger tusked elephant. This elephant's not small though, by the way, George. This is a very big tusked bull, but from a weight point of view, I would average him at probably about 5,000 kilograms, about, let's call it about 10,000 pounds or so. This youngster, he probably comes in at about 3,000 kilograms or about 6,000 pounds. Um, if we could go back to the big bull elephant, he's following his young Ascari. You can see there those dents in his skull at the top just in front of his ears. That gives us an idea of his age. Now, Zippy, you wanted to know how thick his tusks are. Zippy, if you circle your waist with your hands, um, that is how thick it is as it, comes out the, as it comes out the lip over there. So an average, an average, uh, an average human on the planet, an average Westerner, or Caucasian, that is the size of the elephant tusk. So, so really big and thick, surprisingly thick. I mean, from here it looks as if you could circle that with your hands, but let me tell you that four of my hands wouldn't be able to go around that elephant tusk. And as long as your leg. Isn't that incredible, hey? So really big tusked elephant, you're looking at about 100 pounds a side. Generally speaking, the elephant that we're looking at now will probably be about, ooh, difficult for me to say, probably about 40 pounds, maybe 50 pounds a side. I'm not... Now, from one of the large or, or the largest land-based mammal on the face of the planet to one of the smallest carnivores in Africa.